Chodo Havat sent me. I'm to take an orbital shuttle to RZ0031 on Telos. Citadel Station, this is Admiral Karth Onasi of the Republic Cruiser Sojourn. Admiral Onasi, this is Lieutenant Gren, TSF. We've been expecting you. TSF hasn't gone to shambles in my absence. And how about you? An admiral. You might change your tune after you see what the situation is like down here, Karth. I've got some bad news for you. Well, it can't be that bad, Gren. I think Telos has already been through the worst. The one you came all the way out here to pick up? Well, she managed to escape the station. We're not exactly sure how it happened. Well, that's unfortunate, but luckily it still fits our plans. Am I hearing this right? I'll tell you more when I arrive, but the Republic has decided not to detain the Exile and adopt a wait-and-see approach. The Exile? Then... Like I said, we'll talk more when I arrive. Looks like we will. I'm uploading the approach vector to you now. See you soon, Admiral. Everyone hold on tight. We should be putting down in a few seconds. Grab onto something. This is about to get rough real fast. Good to have you back, General. My head feels like I've been ripped in half. Easy now. You survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. General? You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long-term memory loss from that. Too bad she's not a droid, huh? We can't all be that lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian mechanic corps that was at Malachor. Vader. I can see how you'd forget me, being that I was the only one. Sorry, I just can't remember. Don't think too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war, if we could. We all went through some tough times after Malachor, and maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. How are the others? They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place. And this is the last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? I was told I might be able to find my ship here. Well, if your ship's in as bad shape as this one, I don't think you're gonna have much luck. <sighs> well, this is familiar. 
Feels like my last time on Telos. Crashed the shuttle that time, too? No, Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. You're welcome, Kreia. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. We should get out of here before Zerka's mercs show up. They're probably already on their way. We need to find our ship. But we don't have any idea where to look for the other rock. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but not even I can fix that wreck. So what do we do? We'll have to get back to the compound. It's the old Athorian research station, turned into a salvage team staging area. It won't be an easy hike. Why not? First, there's a mercenary pursuit team looking for me. If Zerka secure the compound, there could be a lot of them out there. Second, there's all the Canucks. What's a Canuck? The vicious, wide-jaw predators the Athorians imported from Duxon. They were meant to keep the herbivore population in check. I don't see any herbivores around. Right. The Canucks ate them all. Now they'll eat anything they can catch, including us. Without the Athorians to maintain the accelerated ecosystem's balance, everything here is falling apart. Zerka's killing the Restoration Project piecemeal. Let's get going. That's the plan. Yes. Let's go. I hear you. Mercenaries, right where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. They were probably looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down.
Hey, General, are you all right? What are you talking about? You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. I was inspired by your arm. Whoa, claws out today, aren't they? Now whose claws are out? Seriously, you don't look that way from spending extra time in the fresher. I've seen other Jedi, not many but a few look like that. And I feel a little strange around you. A little more in control. Calm. Like I usually only get when I'm repairing something. When one is in touch with the Force, it can manifest itself visibly. Was there something you wanted me for? Never mind. Another set. feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. The Force is strong here. Whether Chodo and his head has anything to do with that is another matter. Can you feel anything? A whisper, perhaps. Like the breeze through the grass. That is good. As a breeze may swiftly turn to a gale, you are slowly beginning to be reopened to the Force. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore, or head along the cliffs to the south. Let's go along the shore. I'll follow close.
I hear you. What's going on? I hear you. Minefield ahead. close to the compound, so they'll be getting ready for us.
Yes. Let's go. What is it? There's the landing pad. There should be a computer terminal I can access from there. Looks like we're gonna have to find our way there, though. Look sharp. What do we have here? The Jedi. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. Enough talk. Let's get this out of the way. Attack! is it? Oh, my God. 
Hopefully I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good, it's functional, and my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. The TSF said the Ebon Hawk wasn't at any sanctioned landing site. What makes you think you can find it? The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Telos' atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or the listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. What is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. How are we going to get to the polar region? That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. So we don't know that the shuttle will still be there, or working? I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. What are we waiting for, then? There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. Let's go. 